Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia. I have a word of God for you today to encourage you, to boost you up, to energize you, to motivate you and to inspire you. And this word of God is taken from the book of Psalm 121. And I'm going to read from the new, sorry, new King James Version. And it reads, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From hence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going in and your coming. Sorry, the Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in. From this time forth and forevermore. This is a word of God for you today, beloved. The Lord says he will not leave you alone. He will be with you. He, be, he will be there for you in time of in time of everything. He said, he, he that keeps you does not slumber nor sleep. The Lord is watching over you. The Lord is with you in time of in time of trouble, in this difficult hour, in this hour of pestilence, in this hour of tribulation. The Lord say he is there with you. He that keeps you who watches you you will not dash your foot onto the stone you will not fall you will not die you will not be destroyed you will not be discouraged this is the word of god for you today i want you to take some time off to read this this um text psalm 121 just read it from verse 1 to the to the eighth chapter uh, sorry to the, psalm 121 from verse 1 to verse 8 read it and see the promises of god for you read it and see the word of god for your life beloved i know what we are going through now is not pleasant at all i know that we are all going to the very difficult time and we all know that the, the end time is so near to what is happening we can only see god for our strength we can only see god for our shield we can only see god as as our our um, motivator our inspiration God is all we need now we need nothing else than God so I'm encouraging you this is a word that the Lord is put onto my heart put onto my heart to share with the, with people today look go to the book of um, Psalm 121 read it for yourself don't just take it from me read it I want you to read it and you understand that this is what Sophia means the Lord is our keeper. Our help can only come from God, not from any government, not from parents, not from any group of people, not from ministry, not from church. Our word, our God is the only person at this hour that can help us. Guys, I'm encouraging you, sharing this with you, to encourage you though. Go to God for help. Put focus on God as your help. Focus on God for anything, everything that you need, that you want. Because we are in this time that all we need is God. Nothing else is going to save us than God. All we need now is God. Our shield, our defender, our protector, our interceder, our intercessor. God is all that we need at this very deadly hour. At this hour, that when you, you, you ask yourself, where are we heading to? What is going on? A lot of us have got no clue of where we are heading to, what is coming to us, what is ahead of us. We have no idea. But when we hold on to God, God will lead us. God will lead us. God will comfort us. God will put a smile onto our face. He will inspire us. There is nothing more that is fulfilling than the word of God. There's nothing more that can boost you up, that can encourage you, that can that can say, look, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And this is where we can find joy from the word of God. This is where we can find joy. This is where we can find peace. This is where we can find anything that we want. The Lord says, do not be afraid of the terror by night or the arrow that flies by day. Nothing shall be for you when you have God. God will save you. God will intercede for you. God will protect you. God will provide. He will provide. 
sometimes we lose hope where is our next meal coming from where is our rent coming from where is our mortgage coming from for the next for, for this month or for the next month we have no idea but god that we put our hope and our trust in will make a way god will certainly make a way he's the only person that can bail us out out of this trouble that we are in at this time Sometimes I know that we want to give up, but giving up, what options have you got? When you give up, what else are you going to do? What else are you going to fall on? There is nothing else for you to fall on except God. He is the only one we have now. So I'm encouraging you, no matter how hard it is, no matter how bad it is, just remember, God is with me. I have God, I have everything. There is a song in my local language that says, when you, I want to have God, I have everything. When you have God, you have everything. When you have God, there's nothing that can, you can fall short on. God will provide. Just encourage yourself. God, I lift up my eyes unto you that you are my provider. You are the one that can do all things possible for me. You are the only one that I have. Sometimes we should speak to God like I do. I speak to God when I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm frustrated. I ask God questions. God, bail me out. Show me a way out of this disaster. Show me a way out of the troubles that I'm going through. But show me the way out of this difficult time. It may look like God, I'm in the midst of my enemies. I'm in the midst of my divorce. I'm in the midst of the Red Sea where there is no way out. Even the Red Sea is closed up on me. Let me put it because when the story of uh, Moses, when you bring out the people of Israel from Egypt to the promised land, the Red Sea opened up onto them. But sometimes I found myself in the Red Sea closed up. I find myself deep in the Red Sea closed up. There's no way out. But I look up unto God. And God has always come, come true for me. God is here. He always come true. And I understand that sometimes we are human. And when we go through so much, our faith just drop. Or we just sink up a bit. But that, in that, let's remember, there is God. There is God. He is still doing his work. Sometimes we just have to hold on a little bit and keep praising him in praises, in worship. That is what, that is where the power of God manifests. In worship, the spirit of God rises and he moves mightily. So lift up your eyes onto the hills and there comes your help. Your help can only come from God, not from me, not from anyone, not from any blood, but, uh, uh, not from any person. Not from any human our help can only come from god when you have your help come from any human it means it came to god to the person to be given to you everything that you get is from god but to a human being god is there god will do it he will do it he will do it so i just want to encourage you look up to god look up onto the cross where there is everything i'm going to end this video here but i just want to encourage you but please read the book of Psalm 121 from verse 1 to 8 and just pray, meditate upon the word and pray to God and see the power of God move for you. Guys, I love you so much. I thank you for the support. If you love what I do, please do subscribe to my channel. Share my messages on. My messages could turn somebody's life around. My messages could, could inspire somebody, it could motivate somebody to let somebody know that, okay, it's not all that bad. There is hope. For me, there's, a, there's light at the end of that tunnel. Share my videos, subscribe to my channel, and help this channel grow. I love you guys.